Well, it's been a while, so I thought I'd give you guys an update on my tank. I've had some successes and some failures, but generally things are going really good. My corals are going um, very well. I've had to um, trim some of them back. The Ceratopora in the centre of the screen. I've got two colonies of that, um, or actually three, and I had to cut them right back. And I offered uh, free frags on Ultimate Reef. And through that I made a, a new reef buddy, which is good because we're swapping frags like crazy, uh, which means I get loads of extra stuff for free, and so does he. He's given me this red plating Montipora. It looks a bit sad right now, um, but it, it's not been in there long. Um, and if my green is anything to go by, it takes a while for them to settle down. But it's going okay. Similarly with the purple plating, that's settling in okay as well. Another one he's given me is this um, blue stylo. That seems very happy. Colours don't show up too well on the camera, I don't think, but it's a lovely little thing. In return, I've given um, uh, frags of just about all my SPS. Not the encrusting ones, because they're too difficult to shift. But that green barley, top left screen. Um, there's the, the Ceratopora Hystrix, um, a whole bunch. And the, come on out of the way, guys. I've recently just fragged my toadstool, which has split into two heads, which the fish are busy trying to hide. Um, there's a bit of a scar there, and what I did was with the trunk that I cut off, I actually sewed it to a rock, um, threading through the trunk several times to hold it down tight, and it looks like um, the foot of the trunk is now starting to bond on the rock. So I'm gonna give it another week or so, and then I'll pass it on to him. Uh, just cut cut the threads and pull them out then. It looked a bit sad for the first uh, day or so, but as you can see, it looks fit and healthy now. I did lose a few fish. Unfortunately, I lost the purple firefish, um, the clowns some time ago, and, and a few other small fish. I don't know why, but the big fish are all fine. Hilary the copper band is just doing great. She has totally cleared the tank and kept the tank clear of all those fan worms that I was struggling with. Um, but I've allowed them to grow on in the sump, so every now and then I chuck a handful in for them. Other than that, she happily picks at the rocks all day, and there are no issues between her and the powder blue tang. Um, although that was a, you can see my video. Uh, of the introduction of the two of them. Um, it was a bit stressful for me as well as the fish. As you see, they got on absolutely fine. No issues at all now. This fantastic blue tuxedo urchin. Um, he's always all over the tank. He races around, very happy with him. I've since added a pencil urchin that was doing fine, but he tends to find a spot and sit there and I think he's found a spot right now, round the back, so I haven't seen him for a while. Hopefully he's okay and he'll pop up at some point. My frilly Tonga mushroom just goes from strength to strength. Very happy, fit and healthy. Nice coral that, very nice. The hammers. Um, I think this one and the other colony I've got uh, are about eight to ten heads each and I've given away several heads of it. Absolutely loves my tank, and I absolutely love the coral. And it looks fantastic under blues in the evening. I tried this Goniopora as a bit of an experiment, really, because when I had a tank previously, they just melted away. This thing was one of my first corals in this tank, and it's absolutely fine, fit and healthy quite happy. It's not as brightly coloured as it had been when I first put it in but uh, to be honest I'm just glad it's living. It's trying to spread but it's very slow but it's lovely the way it keeps moving. Equipment wise 
I'm still so, so glad I got the GHL uh, Mitrus LX7s. Absolutely beautiful lights, have not missed a beat. Well worth the money. Instantly, you might be able to hear the fan up there, the extractor. Uh, it kicks in and out as the humidity rises. This tank's been set up for quite some time. It's in an ordinary room. And as you can see on the painted ceiling and wall, there is zero mould. There's no damp at all. The extractor fan has uh, kept it totally under control. It's an open top tank. Open top tank, but enclosed in a large cupboard. So it could have been quite, quite a mould trap. But thankfully, no. I had been dosing alkalinity calcium magnesium by hand. Um, knowing that uh, at some point I would need to get a doser, I finally have, um, and I'm currently dosing 12 mil of alkalinity uh, through the night on the hour, um, 2 mil of calcium every hour at 20 past, and either 1 or 2 mil of mag at 22 the hour, and it's keeping my levels rock solid. I did consider getting a GHL dose, which is a beautiful thing, but to be honest, I couldn't really justify it. So I actually plumped for the J Bauer or J Cod auto doser. I went for the forehead because it was only a few quid more, and that gives me a spare head. Um, easy to set up, but a bit laborious, but it does the job. What more can you ask? I thought I'd show you them feeding. I've got um, frozen chopped mussel. Here we go. Even the chalk goby comes up for some little bits. And as expected, the regal tang is growing like a rocket. He was around an inch long when I got him, and he must be uh, close on four inches. He's catching up with a powder blue tang. That's incredible speed of growth. Very nice fish. After I lost a few fish, um, I've held off just in case I had something really nasty in my tank um, before I get some more. I think that'll be in the new year, um, but the remaining fish are absolutely fine. I don't know if I've said in one of the previous videos, um, I'm nothing against it, but I prefer to have a tank not absolutely jam-packed with fish, uh, but I wanted a few little ones. It's just a shame that I lost the firefish. He was an absolutely gorgeous fish. Um, I also lost the Vanderbilt Chromies. Uh, I had clowns, I don't think I bothered with them. Very pretty, but not that interesting to be honest. Uh, I think I've got enough life on the rocks now to support um, a dragonet, so I'll, I'll, I'll consider that. Uh, otherwise, something like a couple of blennies, not really sure what else. A small fish, just to provide additional interest. But overall, I'm extremely happy with the way the tank's gone. It's a real talking point. Everyone loves it when they see it. And um, I mean, I've got it pretty much automated with my auto top off, auto water change, now automatic dosing. Just heard the fan just switched off now. Um, very easy to uh, look after. I just thought I'd show you how easy it is for me uh, with my automatic constant water change. I've got my RO tank up there which uh, gets topped up automatically. Uh, every couple days the Profilux switches on the RO filter um, and then manually I just need to open one of those taps at the back corner and then it will let RO water down into the salt water tank. I then touch a button on the Profilux and it will mix that tank for six hours and I'll just chuck in some salt because it's always checking when it goes to top up always checking the salinity it'll either add RO or salt water if I've mixed that a bit stronger 
it'll add less of it. If I've mixed it weaker, it'll add more. So it constantly keeps the tank rock solid and I don't have to even worry about measuring the salt. I'll show you. Okay, first of all, there's the tank. It's nearly full of salt water anyway, but I'll make some. Um, so that's sat ready to go. Instantly it gets stirred every hour for five to ten minutes. So if I go and let some of the water in, get things out of the way, just open this tap, and that's now topping up the tank. Just give that a minute. Okay, that's enough. Switching back off. Next, on the Proflux, tell it I want to mix salt. Okay, so now the pump is mixing and I just chuck in some salt. I know it's about 8 to 10 cups is approximately right for a full tank, so I guesstimate how much to put in. That will now mix for six hours. Meanwhile, if the tank needs a top up, it will detect that it's currently mixing fresh salt, so it won't use this because it doesn't know how well mixed it is. So it will use RO for now. So the salinity may drop a little, but then at the top up after that, once this mix is finished, it will just um, use more salt water. Easy as that. I would have to thoroughly, thoroughly recommend the Proflux. Um, a lot of money, roughly equivalent to the Apex, perhaps a little more. The Apex actually initially is a lot cheaper, but you have to add a lot of add-ons to do various things. Still ends up a bit cheaper than the Proflux, but um, this Proflux is rock solid. Only issues I've had. Um, uh, some of the updates can be a little fiddly, not too bad when you get the hang of it though. And um, I keep having issues with the Wi-Fi, that is more fiddly, but I don't use it anyway. So overall, I'm very pleased with it. So that's it really. Um, equipment wise, the entire system's complete, there's nothing else I need. Um, fish wise, I want to add a few in the new year. Coral wise, I'm adding frags as and when um, I can. I'd like to thank you all for following this right from the initial uh, setup and hope it's given people ideas. Um, please feel free to make any comments. Cheers.